Hello stock traders, I hope all of you had a good week. This was a very tough week on the market, but if you were following the insiders and some of the other strategies that are out there, and if you had a solid strategy and a solid plan, then you probably didn't do that bad this last week. I think this last week I finished about down around 1%. That is pretty fantastic with how the market has been performing. It's been kind of in a free fall and has definitely been correcting from all time highs. Month to date, personally, I am at a 2.62% gain. Year to date, I am at a 165.01%. I don't say that to brag. I say that because the way to get there is to follow stock strategies. If you don't have a good, solid stock strategy that you can win with and go to for solid gains time and time and time again, you know, some of these wins that I have, you're gonna see uh, once I recap what happened this last week in our Discord are small wins, 2%, 3%, you know, might have a big one every once in a while, but that solid, five to ten percent gain is your friend especially if you can repeat it and you know why it did what it did and why it performed like it did before i get going into this video if you could do me a favor please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button also if you haven't done so before please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out we have a link in the description down below for our Patreon group. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a stock strategy and you need a solid stock strategy to have success in the market, then I suggest you join that group. For $27 a month, that basic level is for you. It's a perfect way to start and kind of get involved. There's lots of great traders in there and lots of great strategies that are going each and every day. But I have my insider swing play and my PDUFA run up play that are solid performers each and every time. And those are the main ones covered in the basic room. Also, I am there if you should have any questions. There are other levels also. We have our standard level and premium level, which are quite a bit more, but there are lots of professional traders in those levels, and that is a great place to be. All right, let's cover what happened in the basic room and let's cover those insider swing plays. It is so important to track your trades. That is the most important thing. How do you know if a strategy is working if you don't track it, if you don't write it down, if you don't analyze it and take it down and then take a look at how it performs week after week after week, month after month, to know that you're successful with something you're trying and to know when you're not successful. I've gotten rid of so many stock strategies because I have not been successful and written down those trades. So it is very, very important. All right, so here are the insiders and here it is, here we go. The first stock is GDRX, sold for a 4.13% gain. The next is NMTR, sold for a 10.19% loss. KOD, sold for a 2.87% loss. SXT, sold for a 5.78% gain. ASAN sold for a 7.6% gain. CRCT sold for a 7.45% gain. DNUT sold for a 5.35% gain. CANO sold for a 4.25% gain. BNED sold for a 2.26% gain. BTRS sold for a 3.19% gain. So that was 8 out of 10 for an 80% win rate. This strategy over the last five years has had a 70% win rate on average, so a little bit above average, and a 3% average gain per pick, and this week we had a 3.11 average gain per pick, so just barely over normal. There were no PDUFAs that I sold this last week, a real quiet week for those PDUFA dates, and so I didn't have any of those run-ups to sell, but there will be some coming soon. Let's get to the list and get to these top seven. I have some PDUFA run-ups in here. I have my insider swing play that's in here and also one of my buyback strategy picks in here. So here we go. Number seven. Number seven is Chemocentrics, ticker symbol CCXI. This was number seven last week. This is a continued hold. This is a PDUFA run-up play. My average and it's $15.67. This should run nicely up to its PDUFA date. So far since having this and since calling this out is up 5.74%. My personal target for this is $25 a share. I think it could hit that on the way up. They have a PDUFA date extended 
all the way to October 7th. This could get PDUFA approval at any time. That is why it's important to be in this one now. We might get a surprise approval and that would be really great. Chase some of those short percentage people out and we could see a gigantic spike. And so that is one reason why I really like it. Of course, we've had a MACD Golden Cross. We have positive momentum on the RSI. There is lots going on good here. And as you can see before, when it had its delay, got that big move downward and that is perfect for a PDUFA run-up. I love it. This should be really successful for us. Hopefully you've all gotten in on it. If you haven't yet, there is still time. There is so much room on this gap to go up. I mean, it's it's uh, the gap is up to 2565. So there is lots of room. We're only at 1657. You can still make some killer money on this. I think this is going to be a great runner. All right, let's go to number six. Number six is Opco Health, ticker symbol OPK. This is brand new to the list. This is a PDUFA run-up play that I'm sharing with all of you on YouTube. And I have a price target on this of $6 a share. I think it will get there rather quickly. I uh, called this out in our Discord a little while back, but it's now starting to run. $3.68 is my personal average. Since calling this out is up 7.14%. And recent insider activity. So I love PDUFAs that have insider activity. And so that's what makes this one a really hot one. I don't know if you saw the transaction, but on Thursday, there was a really nice insider transaction on this. And this should really run. I love the confidence by that officer to spend money on it. We have an October fourth PDFA date and uh, so that is 10-4 so looking forward to that and this should be a powerful stock there is lots of room to run especially with that $6 price target of mine I think this could run 50% prior to the PDFA date especially with that insider activity so this is one to watch for sure and if you're not in it yet I think this would be a good one for you all right number five is Oscar health ticker symbol OSCR this is an insider swing play my personal price target on this is $25 per share I think it will get there in six months or less right now uh, it is moving upwards. Um, you can see in after hours, it's doing rather, rather good. My average in this is a little high. I got in at $18.07. Since calling this out is down 3.15%. Perfect opportunity for you on YouTube. If you're looking to enter one, the CEO has purchased $1 million worth of shares in aftermarket on Friday. There has been some previous director buys and some 10% owner buys going in on this. Huge, huge money. There's probably news. And remember, the insider activity is the news before the news. And so this is one that I think will really, really run. Oscar Health has had this beat down way down here, and it got to be a just fantastic deal after earnings all the way coming all the way down to $12. It has had this nice MACD cross, and it's moving upwards and performing really, really well. And I think that this is going to be a great stock for all of us. I can see this moving up. My price target 25. I think it could get there rather shortly. So this one should be good. If we get some news though, it could really, really fly. All right, let's go to number four. Number four is BitFarms, ticker symbol BITF. And this is part of my golden strategy. And this has not worked out yet, but I am rather confident that eventually Bitcoin will get back at above all time highs. It will happen. My price target for this is $20 a share because as Bitcoin runs up, this will run up also. My personal average on this stock is $5.98 since calling this out is down 14.42%. But don't panic. Hang in there. The only reason, reason this is down is because Bitcoin has been struggling to pass that 51,000 level. But once it does, I think it's off to the races and we can see this really move up. I think there's lots of value here. And the reason why is because this particular stock of all the Bitcoin miners has the best hash rate versus market cap. So I could see this really, really moving. I know we're bouncing. I'm hoping to bounce off this 50 e uh, SMA right here and to see this one really start to uh, move upwards momentum is bad uh, the MACD is bad um, so there's quite a few things that aren't working out for us so far on this but I I am confident it will turn around 
It previously made over 80% on it, so down 14% going in it a second time. Uh, after they've had an offering, now that's all closed and in the past, I think this one's gonna move nicely. All right, number three is brand new to the list. This is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. And I know this is a major, uh, kind of a large cap um, stock, and this is part of the buyback strategy. And this is brand new to the list. My personal price target for this is $330. I'm going to talk about that soon. I got in it at 303 and 80 cents is my average. So, so far since calling this out, it's down 1.29%. But we had rather a bad day on Friday and I just called this out. So this is a brand new call out. The reason why I like it so much is because a $60 billion buyback is approved by the board. And so as the company buys back shares over $60 billion worth, this is going to most likely continue. This is going to provide a lot of buying pressure. And I could see this one moving all the way until it is overbought. Again, uh, it will continue to move upwards slowly but surely as long as the market is just okay. I think Microsoft will do very, very well. And so I like it for that reason. And this is a longer term pick. This will probably be on the list for a while. But we'll see, you know, um, who knows? I might sell it after some time or find Find something else that I find is better. Let's get to number two. Number two is MyoVent Sciences, ticker symbol MYOV, and this is an insider swing play. My personal price target for this is $45 a share. My average in it is $21 and a penny. And since calling this out, it is up 8.66%. Hopefully all of you got in on this when I first called this out about a month ago. We've been talking about my event for a while. Submit event continues to load. Submit event is their parent company and they are buying shares huge, huge, huge. And they have a new pain drug application that was submitted to the FDA and accepted for approval. It will eventually get a PDUFA date. And so looking forward to that, MyoVent Sciences has a lot going for it. And that pain drug is very, very important. And so this is one with the insider activity. This is one that will continue to move up. As long as that continues, I am a holder. So I've just been holding. I held through this crazy dip. I probably should have sold it, uh, but did not and held through. Was up almost 28% and then came all the way down to where I was only up about 3% but I'm still holding it. It's because that insider activity is continuing. And so I'm. This, there's so much conviction there that I think that we are nowhere close to where this is gonna get to. All right, number one, number one, this is a must own. So if you don't have this in your portfolio, in my opinion, this is one you can make huge, huge money on. And this is Tuesday morning, ticker symbol T-U-E-M. This is an insider swing play. My average in it is $2.12 since calling it out in our Discord is up 5.97%. My personal price target for this is $5 a share. I think this will hit $5 a share rather quickly. And I'm gonna kind of talk about it. They had um, a really horrible uh, news event here that made it just such a good deal that it seems that every single officer in the company felt compelled to buy the stock anywhere between 160 uh, all the way up to uh, two dollars and they are continuing to come in tons of officers loaded so all of them have a lot of conviction big purchases we're not talking about a little bit of money we're talking millions of dollars they saw their opportunity and saw that someone very foolishly sold off this stock and it was such a good value that they felt compelled to take their life savings and buy stocks well uh, buy stock into their own company. They've reported it now to, in the form four to the SEC. We can now see that as public information. And so they have come out publicly and said, this is way undervalued and they put their own money behind it. I think that this is going to be great. I'm in it pretty big, uh, but here we go. This is one that's going to be big and look really terrific. So I think $5 a share is very reasonable and that we can get back up there. It was up there not too long ago. I think that this is going to be very good. I wish you all the best on the stock market. I'm really looking forward to this next week. I think that this was a fake out. I don't think we're going down so crazy quite yet. And if you're in insider stocks, you can rest easy at night knowing that those insiders had such high conviction to get into those stocks. 
that most likely we are going to see price appreciation. There's either news or value or they believe in it. And so you should too, because they have knowledge of everything that's going on. They work there. So anyway, wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the discord in Raytoven out.